Welcome to Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Wednesday, the 6th of December 2023. Mike Smith, analyst at Go Market. So, Lydia Ram, what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session? Of course, overnight we saw a choppy session in the US. So, after we had those five weeks of gains, it's really not moved very much at all this week. NASDAQ slightly outperformed, finished in positive territory. We had some selling, probably profit taking in the small cap Russell 2000 index as well but the dow just closed beneath neutral and is in within u.s futures are now just above neutral in asian trading and this is in response to asian markets ignoring that lead from wall street and then generally positive only the shanghai index is slightly negative at this stage the rest of the major indices in asia are up significantly recovering much of yesterday's losses the essex is up a an impressive 1.4 percent after strong gdp numbers European futures are also pointing to a positive open at this stage and the VIX is still bouncing along September support. The US dollar index had a good day overnight. It bounced off support, moved back just underneath the 200 EMA. As a result, we saw some selling commodities. Gold pulls back further from its all-time highs. It hit a couple of days ago and currently sits around 2020, which is still pretty impressive in terms of where it's been over the last few months. It is slightly higher in Asia. Copper fell again. Second successive significant fall and is now down testing the 200 EMA. And oil has breached support and is now trading at early July levels. So, really, quite a significant sell off in commodities overnight. Not so with Bitcoin, which continues to rise. It's 18 month highs. We've seen the buying continue. A little flat today in Asia, but it may just be a pause. Australian GDP has been expectations year on year, but soft on the Q and Q numbers. As we've already said, later on today, we've got German factory orders, Canadian interest rate decision and US ADP jobs are today's highlights. A couple of charts that caught our interest. We'll start with the Australian dollar yen. Some strength in the Aussie dollar uh, today across the board. We saw it breach this pivot at 96.72. We're now tackling 97, perhaps one of those round numbers where it might pause. So we're looking for a potential move over 97.20. If we get this as a potential 70 to 80 pips to the upside towards 98. So that's one worth really keeping an eye on over the course of the coming hours. On the ASX, we are liking Altium, uh, ticker code ALU. And we can see there we've breached this 45.13 level. We're now at 45.60 and look set to move up towards 48. Uh, we are at the highest not seen since the 15th of September. A move up towards this sort of 48, as I said, maybe on the cards, it's 5%. Fundamentally, this company looks strong enough to support a move up there if we get continued buying. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.